Good morning. <clears throat> so I fell back into my same routine, making my breakfast every morning the same way. And I'm like 90% done making it. The last thing I have to do is crack the egg. I open up the fridge and I'm like, I don't have eggs, no! I think I was kind of silly for assuming that I had all the proper ingredients, but I was kind of on autopilot this morning because that's how I do my mornings. So, <laughs> now I have like all these accoutrements and no egg, which is like the real part of it. So I took my two sliced halves of bread and I made a sandwich and the bacon's still cooking. So I guess I'll just eat the bacon. <laughs> so, hmm. my breakfast didn't start out the right way. But I'll get some eggs on my way home today. Look at my plants. They're still not flowers, but oh, I'm so excited. They're so big. It's wonderful. This one kind of died. <laughs> but these look great. Pumped for that. My shoe cubby's in a new spot. Just looking at the teachers' names, there's a lot of new teachers. A lot. So we just had to take a picture with all the new teachers. There's a ton of new teachers. And um, it's like super windy outside. <laughs> and like every picture my hair was like... I was like, Is, it's okay, it's okay. It's just kind of funny. There's so many new teachers. But thankfully, most of my favorites are still here. I mean, I liked everyone. But somehow, all the people that I liked the most are still here, except for like one or two people. Um, also, they changed where they're sitting, too. So now I sit across from a different person. And he's awesome. He, he's always been really nice to me. So now that we sit across from each other, he, he's always, he always wants to talk, even though he's not so great at English. Um, one of the English teachers left. So now there's a new English teacher, and she's really young, and it's her first year teaching. She was really excited to see me. I think also because I'm very young, and she's like, I want to be friends. Let's be friends. And I was like, okay, great. And she's like, and I love learning English, so please teach me slang words. Actually, she said slangs. And I was like, okay, I'll teach you slang. And she's like, oh, and I'll teach you Japanese. So I'm like, perfect. So um, hopefully my Japanese will just be like through the roof over the next few weeks. Um, what else? I don't know. That's all for now. I mean, there was a ceremony and there was this, that, and the other thing. I have no classes today, and I'll have no classes Monday and Tuesday either. But, um, there are lots of stories about the ceremony and the kids, which I will tell later when I'm not in the locker room. Bye. Hello! So you might not notice, but I'm using my old camera right now because my flip cam's batteries are dead. And they, my flip cam uses AA batteries, which I didn't know when I bought it. The guy at Radio Shack told me that it was like a battery that you charge and you can plug it into your computer and charge it that way too. But he lied to me and it only takes AA batteries, which is, I wouldn't have bought it if I had known that beforehand. <sighs> so, and it eats through the batteries in like two days and you need to get new ones. I have rechargeable ones, but it's the same thing. It, it, it's dead after two days, whereas my camera would go for like a whole week without having to recharge it. I'm really trying to like the flip cam, but I just like this camera better. I feel like the quality is better. It's easier to upload because the format's easy. I don't really know. I mean, the flip cam is better when I'm outside because the wind doesn't really pick up, but for the most part, I like this camera better. I don't know. You guys tell me what what you like better. Okay, so there was a big ceremony today at the beginning of the day to welcome all the seventh graders to the new school because today it was their first day. Yesterday the eighth graders and ninth graders came in and I don't know what they did all day because I wasn't here, I was traveling. 
but today the first, the uh, seventh graders came in and they looked so cute. They were all so little. They were all like pocket size, more so than usual. And because they just came from a school where they were like the boss in charge, the best, and now they're like the slime at the bottom and they, they don't know anything. It was so funny to see them like bumble around not knowing a single thing. And actually the eighth graders and ninth graders were kind of bumbling too because they been going to the same place, the same class every day. And now there's like different ways they're supposed to walk and different things they're supposed to do. And I thought that every grade has uh, different colored shoes. So last year the the seventh graders had red shoes, the eighth graders had blue shoes, and the ninth graders had yellow shoes. So I thought the next year everyone would change shoe colors. So the kids who were eighth graders and wore blue shoes would change to yellow shoes. But instead, they just keep the same color shoes and the blue shoes become ninth grade shoes, which makes sense. But it's weird to see little seventh graders running around with yellow shoes because when I see yellow shoes, I immediately think ninth graders and seventh graders are obviously small. <laughs> so I don't know, that's just a random thing. Um, um, I gave, so my parents made little notes for Principal Badass, uh, thanking him. So I gave him the letters. I, uh, there are gifts too, but I forgot the gifts today. But I gave the letters. And um, it, was, it was really funny because he like read them out loud. <laughs> and he, he didn't understand most of it, obviously. But he could pick out a few words and he could kind of figure out what it was saying. Plus, it was kind of obvious what it was saying anyway, because it was a thank you note for taking care of me during the earthquake. And um, it was just funny to hear him like read it out loud. <laughs> and I was like, okay, nice job, sir. And I told him about the poster and he was, he was like, I'm gonna hang it up in my office. I was like, actually, it's kind of big. It's eight feet by five feet. So um, probably don't wanna hang it up in your office. And he was like, oh, okay. I don't know how I'm gonna get it to school. I'll probably just take the train. Either way, I'll look like a weirdo. Um, so, my eighth, my sixth graders, who are now seventh graders, there are 19 of them among 139. So, they get lost <laughs> in the crowd. But I can pick them out sometimes. I mean, it's only been one day, and I haven't actually had any classes with them yet. But I think that they were so like preoccupied with being terrified and confused that most of them were like too afraid to even say hi to me. There were a couple times when I saw them in the hallway and I was like, hi! And they were like, <laughs> they, were, they were so stressed out, I think. Oh, it's really funny because, you know, they come, come from a school where there's only, there's only 85 kids in the whole school. And now, you know, their class has practically twice that many. So it's kind of funny. But Dust Bunny's kid was on top of it. He was totally cool with what was going on. He, um, I saw him in the hallway and he was carrying like this huge pile of books and he was struggling. And I was like, oh, it's so heavy, isn't it? Omoi desu ka? And he was like, yeah, like in the deepest voice you could mutter, yeah, karui desu. No, they're light. <laughs> and for some reason that just really tickled my funny because that, that was like just hilarious to me. Like, yeah, karui desu. No, it's very light, even though he was like falling over. I don't know, I thought it was funny at the time. Sometimes I write down these stories because they really make me laugh and then when I sit here and I tell them, I'm like, that was stupid. And I, this is one of those instances. Um, I forget what I talked about in the locker room. Because usually if I talk about something in the locker room, I cross it off the, um, the list, but I didn't do that today. <sighs> so, did I, I, I hope I didn't say this already, but I saw, I, I'm, I was riding my bike to school and I saw a bunch of my old students, um, a bunch of the ninth graders who are graduated and now in high school. That was really fun. I was like, oh, hi. But like as we're biking by, so it kind of just came out like, hi. 
<laughs> and they were gone. And I was like, oh, that's fun. So I'm going to see those kids like every morning, which is pretty exciting. And a couple of the a couple of them came back to visit and be like, look at my spiffy new high school uniform. And one of the kids who came back was Pikachu. And I was like, hi. And he was like, hi. And I was like, are we going to role play? Are we going to, I'll be Solid Snake. And he was like, no, I'm too cool. I'm a high school student now. And I was like, beep, 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 beep. And he was like, no. <laughs> he really wanted to, though, but he was like, no, I, I'm mature now. <laughs> so that, that was funny. I was like, I miss you. Um, so I think that's all. Um, all the teachers were, you know, I. I try not to make, tell stories where it's like, I'm so awesome, but all the teachers, I think, were really happy to see me, and, I, and that made me feel really good, because I think a lot of them didn't think I would be coming back, um, because of, like, the earthquakes and the radiation and junk. And speaking of that, so last night there was a big earthquake. It was, like, a 7.4. I was, <laughs> I'm back in the country for, like, three hours <laughs> and pfft, I was like really really Japan really but um it was short so there was a tsunami warning but there was no tsunami so yay probably you know it's more serious up north I think the, the biggest magnitude on land was about a six so it was only about a four where I was but it was still kind of scary I was you know it was like 8 11 30 p.m. I was like, awesome. <laughs> um, kind of jet lagged. Um, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the teacher, I <laughs> totally segued. So I think the teachers really happy to see me and they all came up and they were like, oh, Mei Sensei, I'm so happy that you're back. And I was like, oh, I'm so happy too. And, um, I think I already said this, but all the new teachers seem really cool. All the ones that came up to me and introduced themselves anyway seem cool. So I'm, I'm excited to meet new people. I mean, I miss the old teachers, but I'm excited to meet new people. Um, they told me that there probably won't be any classes on Monday and Tuesday, which I'm pretty sure I already said, but um, that's okay. I think, I think it'll be nice to get acclimated. Monday will be boring, even though it's the best day of the year. This Monday is the best day of the year. Um, it will be boring, but that's okay. 